Hi guys. Hi everyone. And welcome today to learning about the grammar that we have looked at when we've been speaking about our journeys and the places that we travel to. So we need to be able to express ourselves when we're traveling. We need to be able to tell people what was it like? What was our traveling trip like? Um, by using a lot of adjectives and also by being able to speak about money when we do travel and also um, being able to ask for things when we're traveling. So let's look at the grammar, which is from the past lessons from before. We're just going to look at the grammar and make sure we understand uh, how to do this. Okay, so we have uh, the first question asks us to complete the sentences. So you could see page 92, Mercury is the nearest planet to the sun. So remember when you say nearest, you've got the adjective near and you're adding the EST because you're saying that it is close. So the nearest is a superlative adjective and that means compared to many, okay? So Mercury, from all of them, from all the other planets, it is the nearest planet to the sun. Saturn is a big planet. So big is just one adjective. But Jupiter is the biggest planet. So we have another EST, and that's because we're, com we're comparing it to many. Okay, so remember the difference between the comparative adjective and the superlative adjective. So we are saying it is the biggest. Venus is a hot planet. So hot is an adjective, but Mercury is the hottest. Now we've added another T, we've doubled the consonant, and we've added an EST. That means compared to many, Mercury is the hottest planet. Okay, so that was a superlative. The journey from Earth to Neptune is longer than Earth to Uranus. So is longer than. We're using a comparative because we're comparing two things together now. Not one to many, but we've said that Earth to Neptune is longer than Earth to Uranus. So can you see how I'm doing a comparative adjective now? Okay, comparative, because now I say longer than. Neptune is longer than Earth to Uranus. Earth to Neptune is longer than Earth to Uranus. Earth is the best planet for humans. Best is a superlative. It comes from the adjective good, but because we want to compare it to many, we say Earth is the best planet. Not Earth is a good planet, but it is the best because I am comparing it. Mars is smaller than Earth. Okay, smaller because I've got two. Mars is smaller than Earth. Two, com two um, nouns, so I'm using a comparative adjective. And I'm just adding the ER to my adjective. Um, but Mercury is the smallest. Now I'm using a superlative adjective. So the same adjective, small, but now I've added EST because I'm comparing it to many. It is the smallest planet. Okay, so that's a review of using adjectives when we compare and you got to remember it's using adjectives when we compare but are you comparing two things together or one to many okay and that was our rules so let's look at some uh, sentences the summer temperature in Qatar is 40 degrees. 
it's 20 degrees in Berlin. Now, when I want to make a sentence using comparative, I can make a sentence by saying Qatar, which is a country in the Middle East, is hotter. So I've got my adjective hot, but when it ends in a consonant, you double the consonant and add an ER because I want to compare it. Not just say Qatar is hot or, you know, Colombia, it's hot in Colombia, it's hot in Australia, but I want to compare one country to another. So Qatar is hotter than Berlin. So you've got to remember, not just add ER, but you've got to say then. Is hotter than Berlin. Berlin is colder than Qatar. Same sentences. So colder than. Okay, a Porsche can travel at 300 kilometers per hour, a Mini can travel at 225 kilometers per hour. So a Porsche is faster than a Mini. I'm using the comparative because I'm comparing two nouns. Porsche, Mini, faster than. Or you could say it the other way around, a Mini is slower than a Porsche. So I'm not just saying a Porsche is a fast car. That's just talking about one noun, a Porsche. But I want to compare it. The Porsche is faster than a Mini. Okay, this house cost one million. The apartment cost 250,000. So this house is more expensive than an apartment. That is a long adjective. It's a long comparative. More expensive is the adjective than. Okay, so more expensive than. And we've got two nouns, house, apartment. Okay, so can you see the rule? Then one noun goes in the beginning, then you've got the comparative adjective, and then the second noun. Or you can say the apartment is cheaper than the house. More expensive than, more cheaper or cheaper than. London has a population of 8.6 million. Madrid has a population of 3.1 million. So London is bigger than Madrid. I'm comparing two countries, two cities. And I'm using my comparative with the ER, is bigger than. So remember the comparative, you add the ER. We can see the rules here. But in the superlative, you add the EST. Because I'm comparing one noun to many nouns. And then don't forget you had the irregular, best, which came from good. So we can say, we can also say Madrid is smaller than London. And that comes from the comparative adjective, smaller than. Okay, so adjectives, when we compare nouns. And remember the comparative, it was adjective. And then you add the ER to the adjective. That was the rule. But the superlative was adjective. And then I add the EST. Okay, very easy to see the rules. So there's two ways to compare.
Okay, that's two ways to compare. Okay, um, we then have the River Nile is 6,650 kilometers long. The River Amazon is 6,712 kilometers long. So we can say the River Nile is shorter than the Amazon River. So which adjective am I using? I'm using the comparative adjective because there's an ER to the adjective. It's shorter than. Or you could say the Amazon River is longer than the River Nile. So let's look at some more comparison. The summer temperature in London is 18 degrees. London is the coldest city. London is the coldest city. So EST, that means it's a superlative. A Bugatti Veyron, that's a car, can travel at 430 kilometers per hour. It's, did you guys guess, it's the fastest car. Because remember, we're comparing it to many. So it's like saying it's the fastest car in the world. It's the fastest car compared to many, many cars. So the superlative EST. This castle costs $10 million. So it's, we're using a long adjective, it's the most expensive home. So remember in the superlative, we say, for the long adjective, most long adjective. So we add the word most. Okay, so um, it's the most expensive home. Delhi has a population of 18.9 million. It's the biggest capital city in India. It's the, compared to many, it is, of all the cities in India, it is the biggest capital city. So we've got the adjective big because it ends in a consonant. We double the consonant and add EST. And the Mississippi River is 3,733 kilometers. So it is the shortest river. So EST, it is the shortest river in all of the country. Okay, so now we know how to use the superlative and the comparative. So remember, for the comparative, you just add an ER and the word then. That's for short adjective, but for long adjective, you say more long adjective. Okay, so you say more. But in the superlative, you just add the EST. So the biggest, the smartest, the kindest, or if it's a long adjective, you say most, the most beautiful river in the world, the most beautiful, uh, the most amazing person, the most dangerous experience. Okay, so that's how you do it for the long adjective and for the short adjective. Okay, so that's comparative and superlative adjective. Any questions with those? Yeah, so we've done lots of practice, lots of sentences. 
Um, let's have a look at some opposite words with our adjectives. So if I have uh, expensive, the opposite would be cheap. If something is expensive, the opposite word is cheap. If something is clean, the opposite word is dirty or unclean. You could even use the word unclean. If something is cold, then the opposite word is hot. If something is fast, then it is difficult or hard. Sorry, if something is uh, easy, it's difficult or hard. If something is fast, it is slow. Long, short, safe, dangerous, and tiny, you could say big or huge as the opposite adjective. So let's make some sentences ourselves. Um, we've got an example here. It's very cold in the winter. Adelaide is a safe city. That's just using one noun. But if I want to use it in a, I want to compare it to many, Adelaide is the safest city in Australia. Or I can use the comparative, Adelaide is safer than Melbourne. So can you see these three sentences? The first one is just one noun. The second sentence is with two nouns. And the third sentence is one noun compared to many. So safe safer, or safer than, and safest. Okay, you should understand how do we create those three sentences, why it's important to know how to just talk about one noun, Adelaide is safe, you know, um, walking at night is safe in Adelaide, um, Bogota is a safe city. But when I want to compare it, you know, Bogota is safer than Medellin, for example. So safer than. Or I can compare it to many. Bogota is the safest city in Colombia. Rio is the safest city in Brazil, for example. Um, another example, Sydney is the most expensive city. That's a superlative adjective, long adjective. Fresh water is the best drink. Best is uh, irregular. Canada is the coldest country in the world. San Andreas is the hottest island. The Yellow River is the most famous river in China. So you can see I'm comparing it, saying compared to many, it is the most famous river. Moscow in Russia is the most expensive city in the world. Brazil has better beaches than Australia. So ER, it's a comparative. I'm comparing one country to another country, better than. Argentina is poorer than Australia. So ER to the adjective poor. The MacBook are more expensive than Dell. iPhones are more technologically advanced than Samsung. Eggs in Australia are more expensive than in Ecuador. Rio is hotter than Adelaide. Canada is colder than Australia. Okay, lots of examples. Some of them were comparative um, and some of them were uh, the superlative. So number seven. Um, if you remember, we talked about uh, when we travel, okay, how do we get to a place? So do we walk there? Do we go by car? Do we go by bus, taxi? Do we take a tram? 
Okay, so we need to talk about ways of traveling from getting from one place to another place. So I often go, we have to say I often go by bus to work. So by bus. I often go, not just bus, I often go by bus to work. It's sunny today, so let's walk through the park, or you could say let's go through. Let's walk through the park. So when you walk through, it means you're moving from one side to another. Let's go through. Sometimes I drive to the shops and sometimes I take the bus. Now you can also catch the bus. So I take the bus or I can catch the bus to go to work, to go to my grandmother's house. Did you travel to Beijing by plane? So to Beijing by plane. So plane is a way we say by plane. Okay, then we talked about when we need to travel, we're also talking about money. It's really important that we know how to speak about money um, when we're traveling and making sure that we're saying the right things. So if I say number eight, can I something by credit card? Can I pay? So remember we use the verb can to start our sentence because it's a question. Can subject I pay by credit card? And it's a question. So don't forget to put a question mark. Can I pay by credit card? It's very common. That's how we say it. You could say, can I pay by Visa? Can I pay by MasterCard? Uh, but can I pay by credit card, by cash? Can I pay by VPay? Can I pay later? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Can I pay later? Can I pay cash? Yep. Yeah. Now, if we want to lend, okay, that means to give. So can you lend me 10 euros? Can you lend me 10 euros? So remember euros is if you're in Europe, but if you're in Australia or Canada or America, we say dollars. So that means, can you give me? Can you lend me 10 euros? Can I borrow 10 euros from you? The same question, but different verbs. And you must look at the subject. If you want to say lend, you have to say you. Can you? lend me or can I borrow from you 10 euros and of course we um we you need to take out some money from that cash machine Okay, so take out some money from the cash machine. But we also call the cash machine from the ATM. That's it. You just And you can say it that way. So it must be capital when you spell it. But you could just say, I need to take out some money from the ATM. So that means the cash machine. Okay, so now we know how to use everyday adjectives. We can talk about traveling, uh, ways of traveling, by bus, by car, by plane, by boat. And we can talk about money. So we know how to request and ask for something or how can we pay by something. Okay, we've got some sentences. So number one, can you lend? Can you lend me a dollar? 
So can you lend me a dollar? So that's a question. Can you lend me a dollar? Could I borrow a euro? So remember, can or could, it's the same question. Can I, use, uh, can I borrow a euro? Yeah, can I borrow a euro? Yep, can I borrow a dollar? Uh, could you pay by cash? Could you pay by cash? Can we have some? So some has to be plural. It goes with a plural noun. Can we have some lunch? And could I use your pen? So this is just an example of a conversation between two people when they're requesting. So they're out somewhere and they need to ask for something. So we've got this conversation. So, hey, mate, I missed the bus. Can you lend me your motorcycle? Yes, of course, sure. So remember we looked at responses? Yes, sure, no worries, of course. Ah, uh, Yeah, no worries. Can I borrow your helmet? Also. So I might add, can I borrow your helmet also? Because that's another, another thing that I want to borrow. Of course. Okay, here's another sentence. Hi, Andres and Min. How are you guys? Hi, bro. Hey. So that's a third person. Oh, Jose, can I borrow some money? No, I don't have any at all. You do. I saw money in your hands. So I saw some money in your hands. Come on, man. Lend me a hundred. Uh, lend me one thousand dollars. What money? Are you crazy, bro? This is another conversation. Hi, Silvio. How are ya? I'm fine. How are you? Not bad. I've come to ask you for a favor. Sure. What do you need? I'm broke. I need some money. Can you lend me a little? Yeah, sure. How much? I need a hundred dollars. Okay, here you go. Cheers. Hello, Jessica. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Can you lend me your phone? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Hey, bro, what's up? Could I use your car for the day? No way, man. I need my car today. Sorry. Okay, thanks anyways. Okay, so that was just some examples of, uh, you know, how do you ask your friend if you need something, you want to request something? Um, yes, so that is the end of the review. So now we can talk about our journeys. We know how to not just talk about what happened in our journey, but we can compare it. We can compare it to another, you know, um, holiday that we went on. We can compare it to a different city. We know how to talk about our cities and compare it to a different city. Um, and we know how to just be confident when we ask for money or need to borrow money, lend money. Uh, exchange money. Um, okay, so that's the end of the review for everything to do with journey. So we can confidently travel now and be able to speak and describe to someone what happened on our trip. Okay, so the next lessons, 
we are going to be looking at appearances. Now, appearances means like, how do we look? So how does something look like? So for example, you know, I have long hair. I have light, you know, uh, tan colored skin. So how does someone look like? Um, we're going to be able to talk lots of vocabulary about clothing. Um, and we're going to use the present simple. But look at the present continuous. Okay, so when we speak about an action that is happening in the moment, we've got two different ways that we can do that, the present simple and the present continuous. So we're going to look at what's the difference, how to know which one to use, which grammar, which verb. We're going to talk about festivals. Okay, I'm going to talk about lots about festivals and we're going to talk about using this word have got. Okay, so I have got um, a laptop, I've got phone, okay, something that I have that is mine. And we're going to be able to write short messages, really casual short messages, maybe to people that we love or friends. We're going to know how to describe a photo. So maybe when we upload a photo, we're going to know how to talk about what's happening in the photo in the picture that we took. And yes, that is all next lesson. Okay, so we'll do that all next lesson.